You're so cool. Look at that tongue. Well done. We're the Irwins, and this is Australia Zoo. Our dad, Steve, built this zoo to protect our world wildlife. Today, we strive to carry on his mission. So come with us. This is Wild Times. We're here about to wrangle one of the most amazing animals, the Gila monster, and Wes is here to teach me and I'll be able to see how it's done. I'm really excited. Mate, these yep. guys are truly venomous lizards. Mm. Big, long, almost like a, a dagger of a tooth oh. designed to grind into you, split you open, and then a really highly toxic neurovenom drips into your skin and oh, envenomates you. Wow. More toxic than a coral snake, which is wow. America's most venomous snake. That's so these incredible. things are deadly serious. Mm. But they're cute and they're yeah. like little sock puppets. <laughs> the problem is you just don't want to stick your hand in their mouth. Yeah, exactly. As you go in on him, yep. you know how to just feel the lizard, see mm -hmm. what he's thinking, see yep. whether he's showing any aggression, mm -hmm. and then get him. Good luck. <laughs> OK, mate. All right. You're a lizard man. You do what you need to do. OK. Hey, mate. <laughs> okay. oh, Good work. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> Oh, he's oh so you made cute. the right stuff, mate. That was perfect. Oh, yeah, you're being so good. He's a little bit ticklish, I think. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's so cool to see, like his venom glands, how they're on his bottom jaw. That's really, really interesting. And you can see there how his skin, that's he's starting to shed. See, it's a little bit dull there, but as you sort of peel the skin off there, you can see it's that really nice, shiny colour. He is a beautiful lizard. These guys uh, are found in uh, southwestern United States and northern Mexico, and they only come out for really short amounts of time during the year. Probably stay in their burrow 95% of the time, and they come yeah. out in the spring when the, all the birds are nesting on the ground and just mm. eat oh, heaps yes, of eggs. Oh, that's what they'd be yeah. primarily feeding on, yep. yeah. Their main predator would be coyotes and birds of prey. And yeah, this is a typical colour of venomous animals or animals that are trying to mimic a venomous animal in that they have these really strong colours which say, don't come near me, I'm venomous. You yeah. see it in all <laughs> sorts of different reptiles especially. You did amazing. Cool as a cucumber, oh, mate. Thanks, that was I'm awesome. I'm really proud of you. Woohoo! Who's your favourite animal at the zoo? Mm, probably Agro the Crocodile. Do you have a nickname? Tezza. Do your kids have nicknames? Bindi is B, like bzz, a B, and Robert is Roberto. <laughs> What's the favorite place you've ever traveled? Mm, Tasmania. Do you have a favorite place within the zoo? Probably the kangaroo area. What's one lesson that you try to teach your kids? Uh, every day pick something that made you happy. Cool. What's one lesson they taught you? Unconditional love. What would you be doing if you didn't work in the zoo? Wildlife rehabilitation. Which animal at the zoo has the most personality? This guy. <laughs> What's one thing everyone should do in their life? Come to Australia Zoo. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite food? German chocolate cake. What about a favorite movie? Crocodile Hunter Collision Course. <laughs> what kind of animal would you be? A mountain lion. What's something you'd tell your younger self? Question authority. And what's something you'd tell yourself today? Question authority. Great, thanks so much, Terry. No worries. Thanks, DJ. Here's a wild fact. Over 600 species of coral are found on the Great Barrier Reef. This is gorgeous forest, the giraffe, and he is so amazing. I love the giraffes because they always look like they have beautiful makeup on. They have that gorgeous eyeliner and mascara, so they always look stunning. Forrest is the very proud dad of five giraffes here at Australia Zoo. Giraffes can actually grow to about 19 feet tall. Can you believe that? 19 feet. So Forrest here is pushing 19 feet now. Giraffes are really special. They give birth standing up. So a giraffe is born and then the little one has to stand up really quickly because lions, hyenas, all sorts of things will try and eat them. So these guys have to learn to be really strong and really quick on their feet from an early age. When they need to get a drink, 
they do the funniest thing. So they'll go and look for a nice water hole to find a nice delicious drink because it gets quite hot in Africa. And then they'll circle that water hole for up to two hours checking for predators because when they do take a drink, they have to spread their legs out and lower their head, which leaves them super vulnerable to lions. Often when a giraffe goes to take a drink, that's when all the other animals like zebras drink at the same time because they know that there's no danger and they're perfectly safe. So these guys are kind of like giant lookouts, which is pretty amazing. You can see that he has these really cool like little horns on the top of his head. What's amazing is that the males in the wild, when they go to fight, they'll actually do this crazy necking thing. So they'll hit each other really hard with their necks. And sometimes they leave huge scars across their necks and they're always fighting to be the strongest boy in the wild. And they're also phenomenal because they have a 25 pound heart. And that's because he is so tall. He needs to be able to pump that blood all through his body. And that blood kind of defies gravity when it goes up through his neck. So that's why he needs a huge heart. I think his head weighs more than my entire body. <laughs> you do, you're so cool. Look at that tongue. Well done. Butte Bonza means absolutely awesome. For example, today is a Butte Bonza day. Chock-a-block means absolutely full. For example, Australia Zoo is chock-a-block with animals. Ta. Ta is another way of saying thank you. So for example, if someone handed you a wheel of cheese, you'd say ta. I don't know why. <laughs> Apparently I'm starving. <laughs> Anyone have some cheese? <laughs> Next week on Wild Times. What would you get if you combined an anteater, a platypus, and a porcupine? Well, you would probably have an echidna.